I uh, put together, they asked for some key takeaways. So uh, I, I put together kind of my thoughts here and uh, to say we've been doing benchmarking about 16 years in, in SMS and we've been surprised again by the continual improvement and increased variation in some of the production numbers. And again, uh, the top keeps going up a little bit further and there's still bottom producers out there. Uh, some of these numbers have been positive, some negative, a negative being a sow death loss, a, a negative being pre-weaning uh, mortality. And so uh, we, we see things have changed. Uh, so our question to the industry and to you as producers are, what product production numbers does your farm collect? Does your farm have numbers to compare against? Uh, how does your farm rank? And what do you share with your staff on a regular basis? A lot of the farms I work with, uh, they get uh, benchmarking once a month in a lot of cases. Uh, that's shared with the staff. Where am I at? How well am I doing? Where do I rank? What have I got to do to make a change? My second take home was uh, the variation production numbers are shared by a lot of, are, are affected by a lot of variables, genetic potential, nutrition, sow housing, uh, age of facilities, su supply of good quality labor, health status, season of the year, and others can be added. But to me, the key variable in this is people. Uh, you can have an older unit and you've got a good staff of people that show up every day, they do their job. Uh, you can have good production numbers. You can have a brand new unit, have trouble staffing that unit and you can have some uh, marginal uh, production numbers. So to me is, is hiring, training and keeping key production people is a, is a key thing to making these units run. So. Uh, yeah.